Scandal after scandal after scandal. After eight years, Canadians are used to scandals from this Liberal NDP government. But these guys keep trying to outdo themselves. So right now, everyone in Ottawa is talking about the Arrive scam. Here's what happened. The government wanted to produce an app to identify who was coming into Canada that might have COVID-19. But instead of hiring IT developers to produce a simple functional app quickly, this government subcontracted that work to GC Strategies. GC Strategies is a company made up of two people. There are two partners and no additional employees. They got the contract, did no IT work whatsoever themselves, and simply subcontracted to other people to do the work for them. So simply by taking this contract and then subcontracting that work, they made over $11 million. They took a big cut for passing this work along and producing no value themselves. Sounds pretty fishy, right? Why did these guys get the, this contract? Who were they? Who did they know in government? Who were they connected to? We're trying to find out all of these things. Now the RCMP is investigating. The Auditor General is investigating and the Government Operations Committee is investigating. There's a lot more under the hood of this one. It's actually just come to light recently that contracting reports were sent to the government which claimed to describe a company that doesn't even exist. Again, there's a lot more to come. So what did we get for all this wasted money? In the end, these guys built a glitchy app that barely worked and they built it for a whopping $54 million. The government says that this app delivered. Well, it delivered for the well-connected insiders who got rich without doing any real work. But it did not deliver for you, for Canadians. And this is yet another example of why this liberal NDP government is not worth the cost.